Hello, hello, how is everyone doing? Here is my humble base on Daisy Tanaris. What I'm thinking about doing is doing a drive around the map. All right, let's get to it. First, I need to turn this car around. And get back on the road. For a third person driving. You can see first person, that's eh, a little a little limited on what you can see. Although it is quieter, but I don't really care about quiet. So I'm gonna this is my base starting here. From my base, I'm gonna go go all the way around the map. Not a speed run or anything like that, but just gonna show you uh what this map's all about, Daisy. The size, the different towns that I'd be going through. It's all really neat. And I'm by no means an expert or anything like that. So up here I'm going to take a right and start heading south. Taking left goes north, this goes south. see my frame rate on the upper left corner well you should be able to see it hopefully showing you how I normally drive. This is me driving normal. Not going too fast, not going too slow. This is how I normally drive, so. It's like a Sunday drive for me. So this path is going to take me through uh, Green Mountain and into Lenogorsk. Then I'm going to go, go ahead and go south through there, from there. I started basically at uh, pretty close to Lapatino Castle. And I'm driving a Gunter. I like going off-road with this Gunter. It's a lot of fun. The trick is to keep the momentum going and put it in second gear. I'm um, going in the in 
the grass, you don't lose speed. You actually can gain speed. So off to the right, you see that tower? That's Green Mountain. Here, I like to keep it in second gear. Keep the RPMs up, and I'm boosting every so often. I'm not holding it all the all the way, but just kind of boosting every so often. So I don't over rev the engine. And now I'm holding it down as I'm climbing this green mountain hill. frames per second at 61 kilometers per hour. Not bad. Not too bad. And you think you can put it in third gear, but it doesn't seem to do very well in third gear, even down the hill. So, I'll keep it in second gear. And on a dirt road like this, the road kind of pulls you, so yeah, I'm kind of fighting the wheel a little bit. This is on my own server. It's a PvE server. Nope, not too fast there. I'm good. I was just reading my message. Player versus environment. Back there as I'm entering in Zelenogorsk. Entering a pretty big city here. I have to downshift when I can to slow my car down. This bump here go too fast, you'll cause problems, you bottom out, you can cause damage to the car. Driving is actually pretty tough in DayZ. I mean, once you get used to it, it's not too bad, but you have to tap the A and D for the steering. W is gas, S is uh, for brakes. E to shift up and Q to shift down. And yeah, you just have to tap A and D a lot. And shift is for, I call it boost, but it's not, I don't know what you call it, but it gives you extra acceleration, extra horsepower. I do it when I want more speed or when I want to climb a hill or something, or if I want to get going fast, I'll hold shift and W at the same time. And trick is, in this, you gotta make sure when you're sliding that you, you're in a controlled slide. You don't want to be like sliding into something, that's for sure. You, you want to slide and let go of the brake and then you can slide, let go, and then turn. If you just hold on to, this is like realistic, if you hold on to the brakes and turn, you're, you're just going to slide into something and crash, so. Small military um, base here on the left. We're just basically south of Zelenogorsk. And we'll be hitting the coast here pretty soon. Here within a few minutes, I think. Two minutes, maybe.
trick is you don't want to overly drive, like drive too fast, take the corner too fast, because then you'll, you'll get into all kinds of problems. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're taking it kind of slow, start off slow, and then as you learn the road better, learn the map better, you can increase your speed, but still you want to take your time. Stay on the roads, good. <laughs> See, I slowed down before the turn because I knew that was a sharp turn coming up. All right, we're basically at the coast. Up in the, up over there in the distance, you see the ocean, maybe, perhaps. Okay, so we're at the coast, starting to rain, that's fine. And you get to see how I drive, how I play. I use the whole road. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to say that, I use both lanes. I try to stay in the center lane, but when I can, on a corner, I like to use the inside lane. It's just like, you know, a rally car, a race car. I drive it like that. As you can see, I'm not going way too fast. I'm just driving normal. A box has spun out in that corner right there before going too fast. And then you get into a slide and then you try to correct it and then it's just, it's hard. Hard to save it when you're sliding. I think pretty much anywhere and everywhere on the map I've crashed before, so... You know, you just kind of learn from your mistakes. Fix your car or get a new one and move on and learn from it. That's all you can do. And each time you get better and better. rain. I'm also checking out my new headset. I have a HyperX Cloud 2 um, Kingston headset. Really nice. Trying it with the uh, 7.1 virtual surround sound setting on it. Didn't like it at first, but it's kind of growing on me now. This is the town of Cherno. Pretty cool town. I'm using a RTX 2060 Super. And I'm at 1080p using the extreme graphics preset. getting 85 frames per second, but I don't know if you can see that or not.
Cristo Interno on the edge of it. This is the construction, I don't know what we call this, but Sometimes I go way too slow on these uh, checkpoints, but I like to make sure it's I don't wreck. I wrecked before. It's like one little bomb on these cars, and they go toast, you know. Well, potentially, it's not like every time, but potentially, you hit anything solid, and it can cause something to get ruined your car not so fun when you're stranded and don't have parts to fix your car a lot of driving is knowing the map knowing the roads so I could have easily got 120 right there and if I didn't know what was coming up have to memorize the map. It's like a big racetrack, you know? Memorize the turns, how fast you can go on each turn. Memorize the obstacles. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Alright, this is going into Electro town of Electro, so if you use the I Survive map, you can follow me on the path I've taken. I'm on the coastal highway right now, going through Electro. I'm slowing down, because I know that's coming up. Checkpoints again, makes you slow down. But hey, it's not as bad as uh, Livonia or Enoch, man. There's a lot of checkpoints, and they seem to be pretty tight, like you have to really slow down to get between them. Like, more like this right here. This is kind of tight. And it's not possible. Just gotta slow down enough to make the turn. That's all. This rain is gonna end, huh? That's just me moving my mouse. I'd like to have my mouse in a certain spot. So I can see. And I like to look as I drive sometimes too. I don't recommend it for new people driving, like new like beginner drivers, because they wreck really easy. So you don't want to do that. But it's good just to you're more experienced, you know what you're doing. But it, as you can see, I don't do it that often. So down here, there's some bumps here that can kill cars. Uh, Olga's right here. I don't have an Olga, but still, you can still crash, catch some air. That's why I slow down. I had, I have some friends that crash there. They used to crash there all the time. And I've known that spot for a long time. I've, I've crashed there before too. So, but see, I'm just taking, I'm just tapping it a little, a little at a time. I'm not going crazy on it. I'm not pushing the car too fast. The top speed is about 192 on this Gunter. I, I can get it to about 190, but I haven't really tried 190 on this road. There's a particular spot that I have got this car to 190 before. This is not the spot. <laughs> Nor would I want to try it right now. Maybe at some point. 
know, I'll check it out. See if I can actually get it to 190. Or 192 would be even better, because that's Wikipedia or Wiki. I think it's Wiki saying that's the top speed of this gun tour is 192. enough practice I think anybody can get good at anything at least better than uh, they were when they first started it goes with anything sports you know video games it doesn't make you perfect but it definitely makes you better so I think that's what helped me. what's helped me is I've had a lot of practice this may be better Crossing. I like to go about 70 or less on those. I've, I've told people before, I like to always go 70 or less. If you go like 80, you can bottom out. I don't, I don't know if it really causes a whole lot of damage. I've had, pro I've had issues where I've damaged tires before, like front tires, just different things like that. If you go too fast, but it's been a while. So, I mean, I think a safe speed is 70 kilometers to go over those tracks or less. And I went over that at 67, so that's good. People crash up here a lot, too. They see this corner coming up, and you can't see around the corner, but they seem to go way too fast. I don't know why. Not very smart, I guess, or they just don't know the roads very well. But I know if I can't see around the corner, I'm not going to go very fast. Because you couldn't see around that corner at all. There's trees in the way. So I don't know why people like to go 100 around the corner. And then hit a tree and then wonder why they're dead. I don't know, man. I don't know. Some people's kids. Ha. <laughs> I guess that applies to everybody. We're all somebody's kid. And there I am, using up the entire road again. Huh? Huh. I like doing that. See, I was going kind of fast, so I braked and I turned. You don't want to brake and turn at the same time. You want to make sure you brake first and then turn. If, if you're still going too fast, brake again and then try turning again. If you try to uh, brake and turn at the same time, guess what happens? You crash. Because what happens is you get into a slide when you're sliding, not so good. Break these tires loose and you go straight, you know, pretty much. Here's another crash spot. People don't see the rail there, I don't know why, but whatever. I guess it is kind of hard to see.
And another checkpoint. Some of these I like to have a, a like a bird's eye view almost of it. So like especially here it's kind of tight, a little tight. I like to be able to see my front corners a lot better that way. And yes, I'm on my my private server. Um, it's open. I guess this. It, yeah, it's open. There's no password on there, so anybody can join. Alright, so now I'm on the Northern Highway. I'm heading west now. I'm gonna be going through the town of Novo here pretty soon. Novo's a nice big city, man. A lot of car spawns. A lot of cool things to see. There's a, like a garage up on the hill. There's a big old, like a church or a chapel up on the hill on the right. Pretty neat. This is kind of around the world. We, I call this the cannonball run. So I'm doing a cannonball run. There's a, car, a Sarka spawn on the left, a red one. Sarkas are pretty good. They go about 120, 125 or so, which is about not much fast, not much slower than I'm going now. You know, I'm not I'm not driving too crazy. I could go a lot faster. Well, I could go a little faster. Maybe not a lot, because if I go a lot faster, I could probably crash it. You know? Oh. I almost like there. <laughs> That's funny. I almost crashed it. Luckily, though, I've, I've, I've almost um, sc scraped it, and it doesn't do any damage. Like if you, as long as you don't hit it, like, head on. Um, that would have killed the car, but like, if I scraped it, because that was, it looked like I was getting close to scraping it. Usually it makes a sound, but I've, ha I've had it happen before. And, um, it doesn't do any damage. So, either I got lucky the last time that I did that, or it's just, um, it doesn't do any damage. And usually I, I try to concentrate, like right now I'm talking and driving, it's a little... A little bit harder. Usually, I'm I'm focused. And I'm I'm a, I'm a better driver if I'm more focused. Obviously, now I'm just trying to talk and drive. It's it's harder for me. I can do it, but it's just harder. And then I'm also taking in the new sounds from this new headset. It's really cool. But yeah, I almost crashed there. Kind of funny. Okay, so this is the end of Severograd, or whatever you call this town. Severograd. By Severograd. Here I like to go on the grass at in second gear going about 77, 80, almost 80.
so on the Northern Highway, heading west. And the trick is when you're about ready to crash, it's important not to panic because these crashes are going to happen no matter how good of a driver you are, they're going to happen. You just don't panic, you try to get control of the car, learn some strategies to get to learn how to control the car when you're in a slide or when you're going through lag, going through a town, just try to learn how to control a car know your limits, know the car's limits, and don't try to push it too often because you're going to have problems if you do. Unless you don't mind wrecking cars, then I guess you can push your limits all the time. players yet. I think there's only like one or two other people on the server right now. Ooh, lightning. I saw that. That was cool. Very cool. Got more lag there than usual. could be because it's raining and, and foggy or I don't know it's hard to say Oh, I thought that was a helicopter crash light for a second, but it was not. Yeah, I scraped a, uh, a, a pole like that before. I just like barely hit it. I think in real life it would have ripped off my mirror or something, and or at least did some side damage, but. Doesn't seem to do anything. All right, almost back to my base. Doesn't take very long. Normally you can see Lapatino Castle from here, but with all this fog and rain, you can't see it. And a 
like to keep it in second gear, as like I said before, on dirt roads. Third gear in this car, this doesn't seem to uh, work very well for some reason. Maybe I just haven't figured out how to get it to work, but second gear is fast enough because all the pushing and pulling that the off road does. It's fast enough for me. You know, I'm not in any, I'm not in any race or anything, so. So, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, cannonball run all the way around Tenaris. There's my Discord channel right there, PC Christian Gamers, if you're interested in joining my Discord. And I'm almost back to my base. That was from my base all the way around the map back to my base. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.